and tap here as it'll be the San Francisco 49ers taking on the LA Chargers. Northern California visits Southern California. The Niners and Chargers, off we go from L.A. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. start offensively 15 yards on the game's initial play with these run pass options we often talk about a good quarterback and running back well having a talented wide receiver helps also yeah even coming in third in the discussion sometimes that means he really should be first because all you want to do is get the ball in their hands and let them make the big plays downfield so quickly all the way up at the 40 yard line And with the play clock about to expire, Kyle Shanahan's going to use a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Purdy to throw it on first down. He'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. And they get 17 more on that one and another first down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 43. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Now second and five. In motion, the tight end. He'll get an opportunity with it on the touch pass. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. to the 32 good enough for a first down here's Purdy 
throw inside. McCaffrey's got it. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 19 yards there on the catch and run. And he remains perfect on this opening drive. Charles now 5 of 5 and another first down to work with. He's like one of those great shooters in basketball that has his rhythm, has his confidence. And he doesn't think anything is going to miss right now. As far as he's concerned, he's going to be perfect the entire game. And who's to say that it won't happen the way he's throwing it right now? First down, here's Mitchell. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Seven yards left for second down. Ball at the 10. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. He's going to handle it on the touch pass. Oh, and that is well read defensively. A great job of setting the edge. And that little touch pass is going to turn into a loss. And Purdy, he's going to shift him around into something else. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. And now they're going to go for it. This isn't fourth and inches. This is fourth and 14. And looking for Kittle, but it's intercepted. Derwin James with a pick. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a Charger TD. So just a tremendous play there defensively on this opening drive. Not just to make the interception, but to take it all the way home. And it felt like this was a defense that was on its heels a bit to start this thing off. Yeah, they pretty much let the other guys march right down the field until that moment. Yeah, key play there. Turned it all around. Big moment. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. They'll try it again now after the five-yard walk-off. And the Chargers grab the 7 nothing lead. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And you wonder, I mean, is it even possible, especially for the quarterback to mentally reset after that quick of a turnaround? But we're certainly going to find out, aren't we? Because that play will stay in your mind, but somehow you have to compartmentalize, put it aside, pick yourself up, and get moving in the right direction. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it second down and 12.
Purdy now to throw. He'll fire this deep for Ayuk. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. A big play there for the Niners. 47 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. This will be caught at Samuel. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Now Purdy. That's caught by Debo Samuel. Touchdown, San Francisco. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the 49ers are an extra point away from drawing level. And the touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. And I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play. Got the momentum going, right? That's You create it with a play like that, and you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. From his end zone, here's Darius Davis. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 23. They'll try and start this drive in the air. A little short pass. This is Everett. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. Well, partner, I have to say they caught him in the right defense there. Nickel set, fifth defensive back on the field, and they love to run against that because now you typically get a bigger blocker on a smaller defender. Yeah, because those DBs like you, they want the interception. They're not as worried about the running play, right? <laughs> not at all. I, I, used to, I, I still remember being in school and one of my offensive line teammates used to say, boy, I'd love to come downfield and hit you little people. <laughs> Good run there. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the 8-yard line. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers have taken the lead. Dicker now to tack on the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Now, after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted 
But it winds up falling incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Purdy looking to throw. Connects with Kittle underneath. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. the gut McCaffrey and he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48 it's a six yard gain on the ground and that'll make it second and four we've hit the two minute mark of the second quarter 14 to seven this second and four they stay on the ground McCaffrey again and he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. First down now, but that clock rolling. A handoff, McCaffrey running right. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The 49ers moving hastily. They're scurrying to the line. And this time they'll throw it. Here's Purdy. And that's incomplete. Well, you left no doubt about that one because even though he hasn't left the pocket, he's got a receiver in the area, so it's not grounding, even though there's no way that ball was going to be caught. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Back to throw, Purdy. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 23. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Throwing here, Purdy. Checks this one down, it's Mitchell. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are. You know, make him make someone miss in the open field. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Back to throw again. And he's going to go down. He's sacked back in the 24. The offense going to stay out there. They've converted once, failed once. What can they do here on fourth down? They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. 
Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. Oh, they try a lateral on the return, and now the ball's loose. Well, this was a 14-0 game not too long ago. Things were looking pretty good. Then you give up the touchdown on the last drive. Now the interception. So that's a lesson in trying to stay vigilant, isn't it? You have to stay on top of things. Can't relax too much because, as you noted, things change. Now they've got to go out there and get a spark going again and try and slow down this comeback. On first down, Purdy. And he's got it. Touchdown, 49ers. Brandon Ayuk as the first half is winding down. And the 49ers have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. An extra point try now for Moody. Now we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. Baylor Tigers! Baylor Tigers! Five nine, five nine. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. He's got this to Williams complete. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and ten. The final shot before the break for Herbert. He sets to fire deep. Oh, still brings it in off the tip here on the deep shot. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? Well, that's a heck of a response to regain the lead after we had seen the touchdown to tie the game. I would say what we just saw there was a great amount of poise because typically when teams tie the game up, it's a little bit of a, how would you say, you kind of kind of take a step back and have to get yourself regrouped. They regrouped in a hurry, didn't they? They attacked back after they'd been tied. And in a big way, that was a statement long touchdown. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And the lead is now 21-14. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. And yeah, they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. Working the middle here. That's complete to Everett, the tight end. 
And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. Throws left side, complete to Keenan Allen. And that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. Multiple defenders getting home there for a loss of 11. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Third and long, it's Herbert. And that is incomplete. They certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Here's J.K. Scott now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. it work out and the Niners take over in terrific field position Purdy to throw it on first down gets this one to use check so the completion good for six yards and that'll make it second down a give running left it's McCaffrey and he's blocked down just outside of the 10 at the 11 and now they're in the hurry up On first down, it's Purdy. Touchdown! Danny Gray, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Niners are an extra point away from evening this one up. Now Moody for the PAT. He's got it, and we're all tied at 21. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Chargers take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. We got a brand new ball game all even after that last touchdown, so every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Normally, he's pretty reliable. Usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. Herbert now. A little short pass. This is Everett. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. Throw right side is into the hands of his tight end, Everett. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus 
And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Now it's Herbert. He finds his target, Allen. Touchdown, Allen! Keenan Allen, 34 yards. And the Chargers are going to take the lead. Extra point try now from Dicker. And it's good. That makes it a 28-21 game. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Here's Purdy now on third and goal. And he is caught. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Now a timeout called for by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Purdy will set up to throw it here. They'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Purdy now on second down. Over the middle, and he's got Gray. He's got room to roam. Touchdown, 49ers! Danny Gray with now his second touchdown of this third quarter. And the Niners are an extra point away from tying this ball game here in the final moments of the third quarter. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that in the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. So right back to square one, tied at 28 as he kicks it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and 10. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Second and a couple. It's Eckler again. And Eckler is going to pick up a Chargers first down as he'll get this up past the 35-yard line. 
I tell you, they didn't give it to him much through the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. Yeah, not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have as few carries as he has, but it might play out really well for them now. As you noted, they want to ride him down the stretch. He should have fresh legs. Running on first down, Eckler. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. And quickly, they get to the line. On second down, Eckler. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. 62 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. A three-yard gain and enough for the first down. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Eckler now between the tackles. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Williams being motion left. A quick throw there out to Williams. And this will move the chains again as the tackle is going to be made at the 49ers 32-yard line. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Here's Herbert. And that one going to come up short, low throw. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Go, go, go. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. Nick Bosa picks up his second sack of the afternoon. A potential field goal if you're thinking about that almost 55 yards from here as they try to get closer on third down. Play action. It's Herbert. Under pressure and they got to him again. And this defense here going to burn their second timeout. But you can also factor in another timeout that they'll get when the clock stops at the two-minute warning. Got to avoid the flags defensively. Here's fourth and long. What is that? They snap it to Herbert. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down. And they come up with a big one there to keep the drive moving and then some. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. They've got it first and ten as they search for a go-ahead score. They'll try the right side with Eckler. Try to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. Third down, here's Eckler. And he is going to lose yardage here. Have to kick this field goal, don't you? No question about it. Look at the clock. Look at the situation. Kick, 
the field goal. Will the defense pressure or sit back? Here's fourth and five. Herbert. As he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. The fourth down play doesn't work for the Chargers. And this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. Here's first down. Throwing Purdy. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Final minute, no timeouts at their disposal. Here's first and 10. Here's Purdy to throw. He'll get this into the hands of Ayu. And quickly another first down, but tackled inbounds. And he just clocked it. But the clock wasn't even moving. Well, that's one you don't see very often. A wasted down. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Here's Purdy. That ball caught. Brandon Ayuk. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 30. And we've got free football, four quarters done, and we're dead even. We'll have overtime after this timeout. So four quarters couldn't settle a winner, and now the Chargers going to get the first opportunity here in OT as the kick is away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. They've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't even want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger. First throw in overtime for Herbert. And they'll find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. With the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. A give, Eckler running to the right. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That whole thing was thrown off track thanks to the defense of Fred Warner. Really nice play. On second down, here's Herbert. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. 
maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. So a big move here, playing to win in overtime. They're going to go for it on fourth down. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. Oh, and it's intercepted. Isaiah Oliver with the INT. Down the right sideline. And it's a tremendous return as they finally get him at about the 10-yard line. So here we go. It's Jake Moody now in a big spot. This to at least get him a lead here in overtime. And his kick is right there. It's good. And Union Street will be hopping tonight. The 49ers have won it. Well, partner, you and I were excited for this one today and certainly had its moments. Some good execution at times by both of these offenses. Defenses both made some plays as well. And always a joy to be up here in the booth next to you, my friend. Yeah, it's a privilege to be up here in the booth next to you as well. Thanks for taking the time. And let's go ahead and get ready for our next one, right? I'll see you in the film room. Get that preparation started now. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gauden. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long from Southern California.